Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of souls will that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all. Graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, 
King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years, seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhabited the region. David was told, you cannot enter here. The blind and lame will drive you away, which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown, over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said to Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I was privileged to undergo a certain training, no? that deals with helping ministry. No? 
Ito yung ministry ng mga guidance and counseling. Ito yung mga ministry ng mga trabaho kung saan in the professional world yung mga nag-work sa HR. No? At dito sa ministry na ito, no? um, tinuruan kami kung paano mag-assess, no? mag-conduct ng test on how to um, evaluate a certain person. No? And it goes like marami mga tools na ginagamit. No? And one remarkable um, thing that I acknowledge, no? I recognize that I also see in myself, no? somehow no, when there are tests, no? um, psychological tests, no? um, yung mga drawing-drawing, no? it is a given fact that a person would always give no, his best foot forward na kumbaga, ang ilalagay niya doon na mga sagot ay yung mga socially acceptable traits no? and personalities to the point na sometimes hindi na nagre-reflect sa reality. No? At I guess, ganun din ang makikita natin, maobserbahan when it comes to social media. No? Usually, may sinasabi tayong Instagrammable image no? o kaya Facebook image. No? At ito ay madalas hindi nakaugat sa kung ano ang totoo. No? Meron tayong image na pinoproject sa public, no? pero meron din tayong totoong image na nasa sa atin lang. No? One may tell you this, my dear brothers and sisters. In our gospel today, Jesus was accused by the scribes of somehow also having a split, no? You're using the power of Satan by, the, by, by Satan himself, no? And Jesus answered them with a simple logic. The kingdom cannot be divided into its own. He says here, no? And if a house is divided against itself, the house will not be able to stand if a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. I'd like us to focus on the parallelism no? that this house, no? that this kingdom, could also be our own selves. No? How we see ourselves and how we, at times, no? project multiple traits, no? multiple personalities, that rarely parang acknowledges kung ano yung something na kailangan pang i-work out na pilit natin dinideny at pinoproject lang natin ang kung ano yung maganda. Sa tulong pa nga ng mga filters, no? sa tulong pa nga ng parang, parang inaayos ang mukha. This is just pang labas. No? Much more sa mga characters o personality na sana binibigyan natin ng panahon para lihahin, no? rough edges na mga makonfigure tayo kay Jesus. We become kingdoms divided into two. No? And we are all a work in progress. No? I guess in this Holy Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, no? We are invited to see ourselves, no? Paano ba tayo minsan nagkakaroon ng split na karakter? Kasi there's such a thing as sinasabing profess image, no? Sinasabi mong ganito ako kabait. No? Ganito ang aking acceptable na karakter. No? But we fail to check, no? What is that deeper reality that we need to address? In doing so, my dear brothers and sisters, hopefully, we can integrate ourselves no? sa totoong realidad kung meron ta anong meron tayo. We're able to be aware of our pitfalls. We are able to be upsetting of ourselves. No? Tanggap natin kung sino tayo. And eventually, we may respond appropriately 
para mas maging buo tayo. And we look deeper, we address deeper yung bad side natin. This is impossible if we don't ask the help of Jesus. With Jesus in our side, we can be strong and we will be strong. With Jesus in our side, we will not be divided into two houses, no? into two kingdoms. With Jesus in our side, we can overcome our not-so-good side, no? our not-so-good personality. No? At hindi lang yung nagsusuot pa dati ng maskara. We ask Jesus to heal us. We ask Jesus to help us fix ourselves so that we can be an integrated person. No? Walang ibang mukha, kundi ang mukha lang na kawangis ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Gather together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. In every prayer we say, Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That all believers in Christ may overcome division and become one in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven deliver, deliver us from, from evil. That the sick, especially those who are handicapped, may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That the faithful departed may be delivered from the evil of eternal death. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil, and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through this saving sacrifice which we offer, O Lord, kindle in our hearts that divine fire of the Holy Spirit with which you wonderfully inflame the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please then. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales, and so attain, like him, the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.